King Sigmund loved to eat. One day, his niece, Princess Helen, came to visit him. The king was eating and waxing nostalgic when, all of a sudden, there came a tornado, the likes of which had not been seen in 200 years. Animals, houses, and even people flew through the air. King Sigmund's castle somehow withstood the storm. But his troubles had only just begun. The tornado woke Firemouth the dragon, a terrifying nocturnal hunter. According to legend, Firemouth could not sleep until he ate 37 people. The legend might be wrong, but the dragon had already eaten eight people and didn't seem the least bit ready to go back to sleep. And what's more, Princess Helen found out that during the tornado, her father, King Olgert, had been struck by lightning. Nobody knew whether he would live or die. She needed to return home immediately. But all the roads were in ruins, the hamlets were destroyed, and a hungry dragon circled over the land. A knight, famed for his wit and courage, named Arthur, answered duty's call. Not only would he have to escort the princess, but he would also have to restore the ruined lands. King Sigmund promised him a shiny new castle as a reward for successfully completing the quest. But everyone knows that good knights don't care about rewards. They are only concerned with heroic deeds and love. Have a safe journey. Hello y'all, I'm Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome to My Kingdom for the Princess. I really love this game. It'll be a while to get to the meat of the story, but uh, basically it's sort of time management. Clear the road to the north of trees that were blown down by the storm. This is the first and simplest test. Okay, but it's not even Arthur doing it. On this level, you will clear the road to the bridge, that is. Remove three obstructions. Click on the obstruction closest to your camp. Arthur's not actually doing anything? Excellent. Now remove the remaining two obstructions the same way. But, uh, he is in control of all the people who are working to restore things. A worker must have food in order to remove fallen trees and branches. After the fallen trees and branches are removed, they become a resource wood. And if you want, you can click and the carriage goes faster. <laughs> You expanded your castle. Okay. Right now, it's just the little house. I think I'm going to, you know, fast forward through the levels a little bit. You will not always have enough provisions, so you will need to build your own farm. Bear in mind that you need lumber to construct a building. Once you have built a farm, rebuild the road to the bridge and the bridge itself. Okay. Yes. Uh. And now for the bridge. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the bridge. Come on. There he goes. Oh, I can't wait till the later levels when I have more workers. Come on home, buddy. There we go. Okay, let's see what kind of... I got a fence now! <laughs> Yay! Don't want to wait while a worker finishes the job and returns. Expand your shack into a cottage and it can house two workers. Finally! Yes. Okay. Okay. 
dedicated to convert a section of swamp into a road. Worker needs three wood units and two wood units. The farm supplies food and you can collect wood on the road that leads south. There we go. If you manage to finish the level before evening, your castle will be upgraded. I get more points for that. Woo! You expanded your castle. I got a bigger house. On many levels, you will discover abandoned structures. Repair them and they are yours. It is important to first make your way to the sawmill in the southwest in order to ensure you have a constant supply of logs and begin building the road to the swamp. Now. There are some remarkable flowers far off to the northwest. Pick them and set off on the road to the east. Okay. I can build the old bone sawmill. In addition to constructing your own buildings, you can also restore abandoned ones if they exist on the level. Send a worker there and he will repair the building. There is a bonus indicator at the bottom of the screen. It fills up over time. When it reaches one of the icons, you can use the corresponding bonus. I got a new front door. The flowers that you gathered last time have a very pleasant aroma. Why not plant a few of those flowers near your camp? Okay. There's a new bonus on this level, an extra worker. After activating him, you have an additional worker for a limited time. 30 seconds. Yep, I heard him knocking! Get the gold. Got points. Oh, I got a bigger house. Make your way to the shore and get the pills. Get the pearls. Then continue eastward and rebuild the bridges. Build a temple to drive off the ghosts. That is scaring the workers. Once you build a temple, all the apparitions inhabiting these lands will disappear. Oh yeah. 
There's the pearls. Okay. Where am I? Uh, start here. There are two bonuses on this level. The first bonus can ma uh, make your worker walk faster. This clock bonus allows you to stop time. It can be used at any time and is always helpful. There goes the ghost! I ain't afraid of no ghost! little man you expanded yep. your castle let's see what I got now Ooh, I got a uh, stone fence nice the pearls you found are very beautiful collect more of them new bonus. Increase the value of resource goods collected. While it is activated, the resources gathered by your workers increase by one. your castle. Yay! I got a new front door. Nice! Getting through the swamp is very difficult, but there are several chests of gold scattered about here. Collect them. Oh, a huge bat has appeared over the swamp. The forkers are afraid to leave the house when it is flying around. Click on the bat several times to drive it away.
Come on, buddy. Oh, I got a new tower. Look, all the gold. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, tower is taller. This is the last level, guys. Build a warehouse before you do anything else. The warehouse is a very useful building. Once the warehouse is ready, collect 40 units of wood to build a ship to continue your journey. You can now build a warehouse. A warehouse adds one unit to each resource gathered by your workers and also increases the quantity of resources that you can accumulate to 20 units. Nice! You have just built a warehouse! The warehouse will allow you to save more resources and also increases the quantity of resources a worker brings in. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to stop here uh, until next time. Uh, I have a question. Do you guys like watching the uh, fast forward, fast forwarded um, gameplay uh, levels, or would you like to actually, you know, see the level and hear my commentary on it? You let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching. This is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. <laughs>